We won't keep that. I look crazy. <laughs> There's a cat down there. Like, I'm, I'm not crazy. <laughs> My name is Catherine Phelps, and this is Nick Murphy. Hello. He is an actor in Herd of Elephants. He's playing mm -hmm. Balanites, the, the adolescent elephant. Mm, cheeky. And, cheeky. And, of course, um, because we have laps while recording this, I have this guy with me. Hello, he's back <laughs> again, he's back again. Oh. <laughs> Clearly we love animals. Yeah. I mean, we're doing a show about elephants, we've got cats, it's Noah's Ark here, really. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to bring in some rabbits and dogs and a yeah. very few other things. Yeah, we'll start our own zoo and then... We'll... Be good, be good. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have actors as some of the animals. <laughs> yeah, that'll probably work better then. <laughs> yeah, just don't feed the animals. <laughs> leave, leave the animals in Africa and then we'll just put actors in the cages and I would pay to go to that zoo I yeah. think that'd be very fun that would, that would be awesome actually yeah that sounds, sounds like another show <laughs> we'll just write this down yeah. <laughs> can you think of any good songs oh I'm sure we can come up with some though zoo start the percussion and... <laughs> I don't know I like it we've got a theme <laughs> got a theme they got a theme um, anyways this young gentleman has done quite a bit of musical theater yeah currently yeah. doing uh the little mermaid the little mermaid at the moment yeah which is keeping me active for the time being and, and what are you playing in the little mermaid i mean my technical role is um water number five <laughs> um but every role is important I, <laughs> he's he, a dancer of course yeah. <laughs> i've been a dancer i know exactly what that's like they give you rather strange roles yeah the more abstract roles but yeah, yeah. we're still involved regardless <laughs> but uh yeah I'm, I'm planning on doing um directing king lear next year and i'm planning on bringing in some dancers who will play the scenery oh, wow. right so like there'll be the horse the tree, <laughs> but we'll have them moving around to do I this. Mean, yeah, I mean, if the water needs, uh, the horse needs to drink some water. Oh, you're then there. You're there. I've got the training. That would be good. <laughs> well, he's a professional Bollywood dancer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, I'm working with my crew, the Bolly Dazzlers, and we tour Victoria and we perform at weddings, birthdays, corporate functions, and they've just hired me as choreographer as well. Um, so that's always good, keeping me active, keeping me physical. Um, well, it's yeah. a form of acting in its own right. Uh, Bollywood mm. dancing, from what I've experienced, is um, very narrative and narrative of your emotion, your emotional yeah. state. Yeah, and it's all kind of echoed from a cultural, kind of historical, kind of um, physicality. So I find that really interesting that it's kind of tribute to, to heritage as much as it is kind of storytelling, which is what I love to do, mm. uh, clearly. <laughs> But yeah. Yeah. Um, so what drew you to playing an elephant in this musical? Um, it, definitely uh, reading kind of the summary. Um, I mean, first of all, it's a musical. Um, music's always fun and kind of that physical aspect of it always catches my attention. Um, but really the whole context um, of, of the story um, and the age of, of my character um, kind of where I stand in that kind of mm. the social order, that hierarchy, mm -hmm. um, that's really kind of, it's going to be as much of a challenge for me um, mm. as an actor, as much as it'll be quite fun for me to kind of draw on those parallels um, yeah. with human personality and elephant personality. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they aren't that far from us. No, but we don't really kind of pay attention to that really like they've they've got their kind of hormonal ups and downs and their kind of their relationship uh, relationship kind of statuses mm. um and they like to play as just as much as we like to as well oh, yeah. so yeah it's kind of it, it'll be like playing just a different type of person more so than mm. a different creature yeah but i think that's probably more true than we've been giving a lot of creatures credit for yeah, that's so true. But it's like finding out about things because we're not surrounded by elephants all the time here in <laughs> Australia. Um, it's really that research is kind of our mm. outlet and median into yeah. kind of learning about that and discovering those things. Oh, and they're so deeply feeling. Oh, they're they so are. So emotional. Oh, 
it's beautiful though like mm. they're just as kind of emotionally strong as they are physically which mm. is something that you wouldn't see from the outside really it's yeah. when you see those those youtube videos of like the babies kicking around giant concrete soccer balls <laughs> and when you see them at the watering hole and like playing around wetting each other and things like that yeah. it's like then you realize that they've kind of experiencing those everyday decision makings and things that we go through yeah 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 but yeah they're beautiful creatures oh yeah and the males are are just as loving as the females yeah you wouldn't kind of expect that and based on kind of the things that you see really but they do show those little little moments of empathy yeah um, when they help each other out um when they kind of get down on their knees and they show that physical kind of respect mm -hmm. and I mean they've got a hierarchy so clearly mm -hmm. there's that sense of respect as much as there is dominance and power. Yeah. Of course you, you, the getting on the knees you mm -hmm. need to explain he means oh, yeah. an older elephant will get on its knees to play with a little or younger elephant. Yeah and those little ones just want to play they want to yeah. learn their own strength they want to have fun as well. Yeah. Um, very cheeky, like my character. <laughs> um, so yeah, if they're like sparring with their tusks and things like that, the, the much larger, much kind of um, socially uh, kind of dominant elephants will kind of get down and, I don't know, let them have their fun, give them a fair go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just really consider it. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, you were talking about a photograph that you'd seen. Oh, yeah, because um, online you see all those little um, kind of things that bring up awareness for zoos and kind of yeah. the population and things of that of animals. And I saw this photo of an elephant's face and I just assumed, yes, that's an elephant's face. There's not much to it. They always have kind of the same expression. Uh, but then I looked closely and I realized that the elephant was crying and you could see this kind of this black stream running down its face. Mm -hmm. And that really kind of spoke to me and made me realize that they kind of you don't think of other animals crying yeah. you don't think that other animals kind of go through like we as humans get all this emotional struggle and things like that we suffer with that but other animals feel the same things but aren't regarded that way yeah so it was really kind of awakening seeing that it was just a small photo mm. but yeah it made a big impact on me and hopefully i'll be able to take that into the acting for our show yeah and they're still so accepting of human beings even going through all the stuff they have with us yeah you know but they still will, will trust us enough to come and ask for help rather than just saying no to all humans yeah they, they're not the way kind they of, get treated yeah they're not gonna fight back they're gonna kind of ask us why are we doing this yeah which is oh well, I think beautiful. there's some fighting back but it's they know that they can't they can't do they, they and that's funny thing they know they can't do more than what they are Mm, which is sad to watch when you know what they feel. Yeah. When you see kind of what how we treat them and how we should be treating them. Yeah. So yeah, it's good to do this this show and kind of give that voice really and kind of raise those questions. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>